Three, two, one, go. Hey guys, Shadow Link seven nine three here. I'm back with po part nineteen of Pokemon Silver. We are still on Victory Road. Fuck. So <laughs> yeah, fuck. It's a long road. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a pretty long road. Well, in terms of like, the it's only long because there's a lot of traders on the way. Why? I don't know. You think you think. I'm, I always assume these trainers would just fail to lead four challenges and are just taking their frustration out on anyone who who, who goes up Victory Road. That's they, messed up. <laughs> I don't know, like, that's, that's what I always imagined. It's like if me and you went to a tournament, but along the way you had to battle a lot of people till you get to the stadium. That's stupid. But I had to duel with like 20 people before I get to the, to the main Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. And I'd be like, shut up dude, we need the gas money. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, he beat you up. How much, how much money do you have in your wallet? Uh, 20 bucks, I'll take it. Uh, fuck. <laughs> and if we lose, we black out, we return to, like, the the beginning. Fuck. How do we get all the way over here? Oh, dude, they, like, they, like punch us in the face. <laughs> Took some of the cash off the wallet, but they were nice enough to drop us off at the hospital. <laughs> oh, how nice of them. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, I'm confused right now. Yeah, but you get confused so much you use a flame wheel. Pulled it out of my ass on that one. Not that I don't like flame wheel, but I kind of I'm kind of waiting for you to get a flamethrower. But I know you're not gonna get it till like late game. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a man that likes to take his time before he kicks ass. <laughs> Well, in the meantime, our team is uh, kind of looking okay for now. But, of course, I do, I do a lot of off-screen grinding to get some uh, levels up. You say, okay, I think it's OP as fuck. <laughs> all, all I have is a legendary Pokemon. <laughs> no, but it's no worries. You gotta deal with my Typhlosion first. Yeah, yeah exactly. I actually, I think you're the highest level right now. Woohoo! I am older than every single one of you. Respect your elder. Lugia, go. <laughs> Fly. Generally, I don't like teaching uh, any of my legendaries HM moves, but the, except for the exception of Fly and Surf, because those are always good moves for any for any Pokemon, no matter what, no matter what it is. Well, depending on the stats. Uh, I think I I think I already mentioned that that Lugia is pretty much um, a, a a tank among legendaries. He has really high special defense and defense. So his attacks, so unlike most legendaries which are focused on offensive, Lugia is a pretty defensive one. Which I actually really like in competitive battle. Because it's usually, because competitive battling defense is actually a really good, fun, really viable option. And Arrow Blast the fuck out of you. So anyway, we're we're still half we're still barely halfway through Victory Road. We haven't even made, we haven't even made it to the cave yet. So usually when you make it to the cave, that's like the point that you know you're already clo you're close enough to get to the, the main hall, I guess. This is what I always assumed. Since so being back in the Kanto region, we're seeing a lot more of the old Kanto Pokemon. Even though you can see a bunch of the old, some of the Kanto Pokemon in the Johto region. Since I assume the regions are just close enough to each other, I assume that some of the Pokemon from Kanto migrate to um, J Johto and etc. So uh, I assume some of the Johto Pokemon also migrate to Kanto in their spare time. Because the regions are so close apart. Although a couple years ago that, that didn't happen, so... Whatevers. And let's see here, what do we got, what do we got, there's a Nido Queen, it's ground, it's a poison type, I don't have, I have a Psychic Flying type, but no, 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 doesn't know a Psychic move. So, set up the Lugia here. As you can tell, there's no really, I don't really have any, uh, there's really no strategy for these uh, earlier trainers, other than the fact they just have uh, a Pokemon that can probably take them out. If you've gotten this far in the game, then you're pretty much golden. I would just say I would just recommend having your team already set by this point, so you know what team you're taking to Elite Four. Although you usually like the last Elite Four from the last game, and like other any other subsequent Elite Four after after the first generation, uh, they're all gonna specialize in a certain type of Pokemon. 
which uh, we'll be getting into when we uh, get to the, the main challenge and probably about the next part, probably. But anyway, continue down here. We Actually, I could avoid fighting most of these trainers if I surfed, but I figure I might as well show them off anyway just to get them out of my way and it's free money and experience. And there might be some of you out there who want to actually see what these trainers have in there on the Victory Road Challenge. And midly, 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 woo. And here's a fisherman here. Who, like all fishermen, has a cool fish. Or not really, oh, not really, though. But there has to have a, has to have a water type. And here we go. Slam that there. Um, Dragonair is, um, pretty good overall, but its physical stats is probably, its, its attack is probably its strongest, uh, stat overall. And when it becomes a Dragonite, it'll, it's, it, all of its other stats are get a really, get a, a real high stat boost. But its attack boost is probably its best in overall for Dragonair. So if you want to, if you when you evolve into a Dragon Knight, I recommend giving it a lot of physical moves, which is pretty much what I'm going to be doing when it evolves. And another cool fish, fuck. Uh, I'm I'm in like the generation, but you know, there's still the matter of Pokemon variety here. But it, at least it's Pokemon. At least it's a new Pokemon, so they're like there's a, there's a chance you could always, there's a chance you could always, it's at least something for refreshingly new to look at. A Seeking is not, well, I guess a Seeking is a relatively, uh, poke, well, to Pokemon that's okay, I guess. But anyway, we've got, um, I think a couple more trainers to head before we head up to the Elite, for the, to the Victory Road. Um, I think after this, there's, a, there's a, there should be a place where we can recover. Um, also, by the way, if you go on this grass here, though, I think the Pokemon you'll most likely find here are... I think it was an Arbox. Um, I knew, I know you can... I'm sure you can find Tangela's here somewhere. And I'm pretty sure you can find Ponyta's and maybe Rapidash's. I'm pretty sure it's Ponyta's, though, because I think, I think you can find Rapidash's up at uh, Mount Silver. But, uh, we can't go there yet. So, okay, this is actually refreshing. An Espeon. We haven't seen, we hardly see any of these since the Kimono Girls. And, yeah, I think like I mentioned before, Espeon is pretty much, um, just a more fragile Alakazam. It has really high special attack, but its defense is kind of, is kind of lacking. I think its physical and special defense are kind of lacking, but, hey, it's, it's, it's a psychic type. Always good to have in your team. Also, I always thought it was, its design was pretty cool. I'm not too fond of the sprite, though. I kind of like the sprite it has in Crystal version and later gens. And got that one there. K's. Boom. Dragonair evolving. Or not evolving. Uh, Dragonair getting more experience, damn it. Okay, moving on over here. Got okay, okay. So this is the healing area. But basically, you're, this is where you can heal your Pokemon. Basically, a pseudo Pokemon center, kind of like a halfway point for um, for you if you haven't healed in a while. Usually, I don't like bring. I usually don't like using any uh, healing items uh, here for obvious obvious reasons. Obviously, I don't want to use any healing items here because you want to save them for the Elite Four challenge. And, uh, yeah, she has a Pikachu here. Um, so far, as to my knowledge, electricity is only weak against ground types. So that's pretty much, if you have a ground type here, you're pretty much, it's pretty, you're pretty golden. But I, guess, but I think the only ground types you can possibly get on your way here is, um, are that Rhydon we could have traded for earlier for that Dragonair. And, um, a Geodude line, make a Golem or a Graveler, I guess. Oh yeah, I could also gotten a sand slash too. We, yeah, you could have gotten a bunch of ground types by now. I uh, I usually use a uh, ride on or a uh, sand slash though. I think it's a I think it's a pretty good uh, viable option for uh, this point in the game. Okay, 
or just pick, or just you know give your most your most uh, your strongest uh, physical attacker with um, earthquake. Actually, I'm not sure if earthquake was a special attack at this time. I'm not. I don't fully remember. So it's kind of hard. But it's kind of hard to tell. So, but anyways, uh, I don't know why they make you surf there. Um, I, you think there'd be something there, but no, there's not. Kind of weird, really. <laughs> so we go over here, and the uh, that guy has a victory bell. It's kind of refresh. That's refreshing. I never really use victory bells in my in my party, even though um, you could you you could pretty much catch them in um, near the the grass by Violet City. But you know, it's I never really use grass types in general. But there, there are some good, there are some pretty cool grass types uh, in, uh, in, in, in these games. But, uh, yeah. So, what else is gonna have? Oh, it's a Kingler. Yeah, we could have caught a Kingler earlier, too, but I think you, I didn't want to really train as a Krabby. Besides, there are better water types. Beware, my water. Such oh. type. Oh no, he's shooting bubbles. Fucking bubbles. <laughs> Bubble beam. Oh no, maybe this wasn't just a good idea. <laughs> um, I have, actually, the smarter option would be for me to switch to Ampharos, but I think I just want to get my Typhlosion here to the next level. Even knowing the type disadvantage right now. Tackle. So the bubble beam here. And I think it's gonna kill it. Ah, fuck. Shit. Oh, man. Ah, oh, probably would have saved time by switching to the Ampharos, but whatever. I had to try at least. I had to try it. Oh, I could have gotten the Ampharos. I guess I'll get the Ampharos to level up right now. Uh, I'm gonna revive. Yeah, I really have no qualms about using revives at this point because you can buy them at um, in the store, but in front of the in, front, in the, the Pokemon League. So there's really no there's really no detriment to me using revives right now. Max revives, yeah, that's probably something that that you'd want to um, consider keeping. Although this although this is the easiest to leave for in the series. Uh, what do I want? This is Flareon. I'll send Dragonair out. Good thing about dragons is they're resistant to a lot of uh, elements, so... Also, this particular Dragonair I have learned no Surf, so... Well, great-ass water move. Especially early game, you get a really good water move. Send... Kishu one-shot it. There we go. Yeah, Flareon was... was, was, was is one of the evolutions that is not... It looks cool, but it's not really the most useful. Because um, it's... I think I mentioned it before a couple of times in the... Um, I think it was in the Kimono Girls part. Um, Flareon doesn't get any good fit... Any good fire moves that that are physical that make, it make use of its physical attack. And the special attack is kind of, kind of eh. And all its other stats are kind of eh. So, yeah, I think Flare, I don't think it would really get anything until we, it can learn Flare, but that's like gen, literally generations later. I think not until like Gen 5 or 6 it wouldn't be able to learn Flare Blitz, which m makes it unfortunate because, you know, um, I guess you could teach just teach it a bunch of physical moves, but, you know, the point of having a Fire type is to have you use Fire type attacks, and since so Flareon doesn't have really good, doesn't really have a good fire type move pool with taking advantage of physical attack it's not really recommended amongst the evolutions if you want to raise it personally I was, I'll stick with Vaporeon and uh, Jolteon of the, the original three evolutions you could have picked in the uh, for generation one although Oh, so it sends out a gold duck. Okay. I'm pretty sure you could have caught Psyducks or Gold Ducks at this point in time. I'm not sure. 
This looks like another one of the common uh, water types you see in uh, Generations 1 and 2. Also some later gens you could catch uh, of Psyducks and shit. Although I think Magikarp is probably like the one Pokemon, water Pokemon, you can ca probably catch in any game. In any generation. As long as you have like a freaking fishing rod and you can fish for it, you can, you'll probably get a Magikarp. Yeah, uh, so we're gonna slam this bitch here. Boom. Confusion. Okay, resisting. Go over here. Yeah, okay. Lapras here. Okay, Lapras 26. Uh, don't worry about the Lapras being too low level, guys. Um, actually, it's gonna be pretty high level, but it's gonna be a relatively um, the same level as everyone else once we uh, do some off-screen grinding before when we reach the, um, the peak of the book of Victory Road. So don't worry. About, I wouldn't worry too much about its level being being gypped. Okay, so move. Lost to a, I lost to a trainer named Fucker. Ah, oh, wow, you're 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 trash then. <laughs> I felt sorry for his Pokemon. I also felt sorry for his name because his name is Fucker. <laughs> uh, cool trainer Beth wants about. I believe she has a yeah she has a Rapid Dash. Actually, a really nice Fire type. I actually like using Rapid Dashes on my team when I when I when I was, when my my de facto uh, starter Pokemon Fire type doesn't has reached its maximum level. I want to usually raise a rapid dash. Unless it goes fast and has a relatively good special attack you're going to be used. And uh, physical attack. You also get it to be really fast, so it means it, most of the time it'll usually go first. Really, really good when you want to make, when you want to make a team of sweepers. Getting stomp. Um, I don't know, for some reason I left a tackle and quick attack on my Typhlosion. Um, I usually I leave one, um, stat, stat changing move, like, I think it's smokes, it's like smoke screen or leer or whatever. But I, I didn't really feel the need to, I just wanted an extra attack move to, um, attack something with in case one of my, one of my moves lost its, uh, its power points or something. Um, but I think I think the only difference between quick attack and um, tackle is that I think quick attack has a higher chance of hitting than tackle does, and I think it does a bit more physically. I'm not sure though. It's kind of hard to say. Uh, yeah. So the elite four are so strong. They're scary. They're ready for you. Okay. Whatever's. Okay, I can't. So that guy guards the entrance to Kanto, and that guy over there guards the ex entrance to um, the Mount Silver area, which we couldn't go to last game. So I'm wondering if Mount Silver was recently discovered. Oh, here, here's a ground type you can get right here. Is if you if you couldn't catch a Dawn fan right by Blackthorn, they give you the chance to get. I mean, they if they I mean if they couldn't give you, they gave you the chance to catch a Fampy outside of Blackthorn. My bad, but it's a really rare counter. Um, here, this Dawn Fan is not too rare of an encounter, so you, you, if you want to catch a ground type at this point in the game, then, uh, hey, uh, I think Dawn Fan's pretty good. So, I, was, this, I remember seeing this guy in, uh, the Pokemon the first movie, because I was wondering what the fuck this thing was, but it was just an early, uh, gold and silver Pokemon they showed off. So, yeah, I, I catch it because I figure, you know, I might as well... If I'm gonna, if I need a ground type, it's one of my viable options here. Even though I think I pretty much have my team decided at this point in the game. Um, actually, this Victory Road cave is not nearly as long as the uh, last games. It's actually really short. You don't really need to do anything in this cave, so there's no, um, there's no 
there's no um, boulder puzzles or anything. You just go straight through the cave and, you know, get out. Simple. And, yeah, like any other um, cave, you'll find gold bats. <sighs> really fucking annoying. And, uh, it's kind of even worse out in Gen 2, because then um, at nighttime you can find gold bats and two bats outside of caves. But anyway, uh, yeah, so this victory, this is actually the easiest victory road in the series, no doubt. Because uh, you can get through this really fast. Um, if you want to get through this without running into any Pokemon, uh, Repels are your best friend for this, uh, this type of stuff. Um, yeah, so after a while, I think I just cut off all the random battles so that I wanted to deal with them. Uh, I don't want to show you guys all the random encounters we had to deal with. Especially, especially since it was annoying dealing with them. Oh, yeah, if anyone's still wondering why I kept the Gyarados in my party, it's because I haven't had a chance to switch it up to another, to, uh, for my, 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 my other Pokemon's gonna be Elite 4, against Elite 4. Um, although I don't, uh, I don't usually use Gyarados in my party whenever I play through the game. Unless I really don't have a water type on hand, I usually, I usually just pick, um, Actually, my de facto water type most of the time when I play this game is probably a Vaporeon. But that's kind of tedious to get considering I have to... I'd have to abuse, um... Assist... I have to abuse, um, um... Daylight Saving Time's manipulation system to get, um... A water stone from that one guy. I just didn't really feel like doing that. I just wanted to get to the Elite Four already, so, yeah. I figured it wouldn't really. I figure, and I actually, fi I actually also figured that I would raise some different Pokemon than I usually do. I don't usually raise a Dragonite for um, my playthroughs because um, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of tedium. But hey, I figure this time, hey, it's worth it because Dragonite's awesome. And maybe I'll raise a Larvitar later on when we go to Mount Silver. But hey. So anyway, yeah. If, so if you see me, if you see me, if it's cutting out of a black screen here. And usually I'm I'm editing out, I'm editing out a fucking uh, a Pokemon uh, random encounter. Oh, you find a full restore here, so you can hold on to these as much as you can. Let's go over here. Okay, that's pretty much where I went. So, and yeah, like I, contrary, yeah, that's where you actually that's that's the end of a, the Victory Road over there. If we go, th but first of all, there's one more thing we need to get over here, and it's really it's really gonna be useful. Oh, uh, okay, I showed this. Oh, you can also catch Onyxes in here. I guess if you want to catch an Onyx here and then trade it with the Metal Code and get Steelix, I guess. But, you know. There was a, you could have gotten some other Onyxes at this point, so there's really no reason not to hunt an Onyx at this point. I guess they just needed filler to put whatever was they could in the cave. I guess. But anyway, moving on. We and took all your health. Here we go. So yeah, you can catch Onyxes too, so there really isn't much to... Oh yeah, so, oh yeah, there's also a look at you can catch a Rhyhorn here if you want to make, if you still want to get a ride on. Oh uh, yeah, TM26, we, here we got Earthquake. I believe this is Earthquake, yeah, Earthquake, yeah, sweet. Now, I believe it's this generation that they started to make Earthquake, um... Useless against any flying types, which actually do, which makes more, which makes a lot of sense considering flying types can just fly over ground type moves like earthquake. So yeah, I think that makes that's one of the few changes to the game that makes sense. Uh, oh, what's this? Ah, fucker! What are you doing here? Yes, I'm gonna take the Pokemon League challenge. What fuck, dude? Are, have you not been paying attention to the last twenty billion times I've whooped your ass? Seriously. Okay, I guess he wants a. I guess he wants a challenge now. So yeah, this is um, this is one of the last official times we can actually um, challenge fucker here, and he sends out his Sneasel, which he hasn't really done anything with that Sneasel yet. Behold yeah. my new shit. Yeah, behold my new shit. That I will just flame wheel the crap out of that Sneasel. No, when I be when I when I say new, I mean old, because I don't have flamethrower yet. Oh yeah. <laughs> Give me flamethrower. 
I can't. It's not a TM I can teach you. <laughs> Give me that TM. I bet you there's a TM out there. Okay, Check so it sends out for alligator. Torrent. Torrent on the internet. There's no internet in the Pokemon universe. <laughs> no computers. There's no internet. <laughs> it's Pokemon. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Pokemon only ten easy payments of nine ninety nine a month. Oh, they and they use like um magnet magnet or no the what's that poke they use and that's where poor well, actually there is there they could go the, the internet because that's where Porygon lives. I don't really I don't really think about how the hell they made a Porygon. I'm just gonna sit down and uh, just try to think of life like man. I don't know how scientists did it, but they made AI without even knowing it. Artificial intelligence, because that's always a smart idea. Apparently it's a Pokemon. Go figure. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Magnemite weak, is weak to ground-type moves, but I don't think you can Earthquake it, because it knows Levitate at this point. Uh, I'm not sure, though. I'm not, I'm not sure if it learned it through this generation or next generation. You should have gotten Rock Slide. Well, it wouldn't do much. It's a Steel-type. Oh. Well. Okay, so yeah, he still hasn't made his gold bat into a crow bat, but I think that's only happened with one, one more battle with with the fucker here. He's getting there. Yeah, it's, it's also a nice change to his character because he can only make that crow bat. He can only make it into a crow bat if, that, if, if the Pokemon genuinely has a high friendship with you. So that's a nice touch. It, it does show that his personality changes after this battle here. He's making his way downtown, walking fast, takes his path, and he's not home yet. But... Okay, so anyways. What? <laughs> oh yeah, also this Haunter, I think, becomes a Gengar eventually. Who did he trade it with? Himself. <laughs> he has two working gay boys and a link cable. Uh, he has no friends, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't that what everyone did when who didn't who didn't have anyone to trade with? Well, I don't know if his name is Flipper, and I'm pretty sure you wouldn't get any appeal. <laughs> I curse you. Fuck. I didn't know that he was Transylvanian. <laughs> I curse you. How the? Yeah. yeah. Yes. The Kadabra. Oh, oh, that's where you got the accent. Got it. I thought you were so excited to play in Castlevania. Oh yeah, that too. That you switched up accents. Unfortunately, I haven't been they can take out a second time. And also, go PJ, go. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> you will hit the Kadabra with fire. I hit that. I hit that psychic with flame. Oh my next day. Luckily, Kadabra has piss poor physical defense. So, and you have a great, a great physical attack. So yeah. He can't handle these bars. And oh, oh, you burned them too. <laughs> Yeah, cause my mixtape hot, bro. <laughs> and he's yeah, yeah, you got him. Yep, he's dead. Guys, check out my mixtape. I'll be in the description. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker was defeated. I, <laughs> I couldn't win. I gave it everything I had. What you possess of what I lack. I begin to understand what that dragon master said to me. You mean balls? <laughs> I mean, I think so you mean balls, dude. Uh, actually, I'm wondering, do you even have any gym badges at this point? I have not seen you go to a single gym. <laughs> nah, you probably have to beat the plaque. Actually, never mind. I saw him go to. We saw.